Betty Boothroyd, the first female Speaker of the Commons, passed away at the age of 93. Prior to becoming a Baroness in the House of Lords in 2001, she served as Speaker from 1992 to 2000. She was referred to as an amazing woman with a no-nonsense manner by the current Speaker, Sir Lindsay Hoyle. From 1973 to 2000, she served as the West Bromwich West Labour MP becoming the first female speaker was genuinely historic, and Betty unquestionably shattered the glass ceiling with style, according to Sir Lindsay. Betty was exceptional. She was a formidable, bright, and funny woman, and I shall miss her. The House of Commons observed a minute of silence before the start of business on Monday as the flags in Parliament were flown at half-mast. On Tuesday, Parliamentarians will have the opportunity to offer official tributes. Baroness Boothroyd is a wonderful woman, according to Prime Minister Rishi Sunak, who also praised her passion, wit, and sense of fairness. Previous Prime Ministers have also expressed their appreciation. She was big-hearted and generous, according to Sir Tony Blair, while Sir John Major claimed she was easy to like and much easier to adore. Theresa May said that throughout her tenure as Speaker, she had gained the respect and adoration of all MPs. She was referred to as a committed and passionate public worker who would be greatly missed by Labour leader Sir Keir Starmer. The lone child of mill workers, Betty Boothroyd was born on October 8, 1929 in Dewsbury, West Yorkshire. She was up in a political milieu since her father was a trade unionist, and she said she was born into the Labour movement. She joined the Tiller Girl Dancing Company instead of entering politics right away. She subsequently took on a series of office positions before entering politics, working for Labour MP Barbara Castle and on the John F. Kennedy presidential election campaign. She finally succeeded in entering Parliament in May 1973, winning the constituency of West Bromwich, which was afterwards renamed West Bromwich West. She served in Parliament for over 20 years before being chosen by her fellow lawmakers to fill the role of Speaker of the House of Commons, which entails presiding over proceedings in the House.